Hello, my name is Beth Dixon and this is a video series based on Vicki Borlaug's PowerPoint presentation covering the addition rule for probability. I wish to thank Mrs. Borlaug for allowing me to use her PowerPoint to make this set of videos on probability. This series should be in around three parts. This is Rita. Consider the following statements. Are the statements true or false? Rita is playing the violin and soccer. Is this true or false? It's false. Rita is playing the violin or soccer. This is true. And means both statements must be true. Rita must be playing the violin and soccer both. The picture does not show that. Therefore, this statement is false. Or means one or the other or both are true. Rita is playing the violin or soccer and since she is playing the violin that makes this statement true. Look at the illustration of Elm and Maple Street. On the first picture, Mrs. Borlaug has shaded in the cross section of the and on the second illustration, Mrs. Borlaug has shaded the whole picture. Which is the shaded or the illustration for elm and maple? Which one is elm or maple? To answer that, think about this. Where would I ask the police to come if I needed help at elm and maple? What if I were on elm or Maple Street if I called the police and told them that I needed help and I was on Elm or Maple where would they be looking for me? Elm and Maple is here at the intersection of the two streets. It is here that I would be standing on both streets at the same time. This is called the intersection because it is like when two streets cross. Elm or Maple is here where all of both streets are shaded. Anywhere I stand on the shaded streets would be Elm or Maple. This will be called the Union like when you put North and South together. This is called the intersection, like when two streets cross, Elm and Maple. And this is called the Union, Elm or Maple, like when you put North and South together. Intersection, Union. Next, we will look at the Venn diagrams. In a Venn diagram, the box represents the entire sample space. We have two circles that will represent two different events. Members that fit event A go in this circle. Members that fit event B go in this circle. Look at the shaded part in this Venn diagram. 
How could we describe this situation? Now look at the second Venn diagram and its shading. How would we describe it? Which is A and B, which is A or B. Event A and B, event A or B. This is called the intersection. This is called the union. The intersection where they overlap. The union where we shade the entire circles for both. The addition rule of probability can be illustrated with the Venn diagrams. With what we have talked about to so far, let's look at the Venn diagrams to explain this rule. What does the first Venn diagram illustrate? Well, it is event A or B. So what is A or B made up of? It's made up of the, all the events in A plus all of the events in B. However, notice that we've added twice, once here and once here, the overlap or that intersection. And we don't need to add something twice. We have added this piece twice, one extra time. So to get probability of A or B, we will need to subtract off the extra time. We will need to subtract off the overlap one time. So if we let the Venn diagrams represent the probabilities, the probability of A or B is equal to the probability of A plus the probability of B minus the probability of A and B, where we're subtracting off that extra overlap. Example 1. Given the following probabilities, the probability of A equals 0.8, the probability of B equals 0.3, and the probability of A and B equals 0.2, find the probability of A or B. This can be solved one two ways, excuse me, one of two ways, using Venn diagrams or using the formula. And we will solve it both ways. Example number one, using the Venn diagrams. First, draw your Venn diagrams. In this example, we will fill up the Venn diagrams with our probabilities. We always first fill in where the two events overlap. The overlap is the intersection or the AND, and that's capital and in quotes, and therefore the probability that a student fits into event A and B is 0.2. The probability that a student fits in the event A is 0.8. And point 2 is already in circle A, so how much is left for the rest of circle A? Remember that everything in A has to add up to point 8. So that would be point 8 minus point 2, which is point 6. The probability that a student fits into event B is 0.3, and everything that in circle B must add up to 0.3, 
but point 2 is already in point 3, so we must subtract out the point 2, which leaves us point 1. Now, the entire box represents our sample space, and the sample space for probability would add up to be 1. So 1 minus 0.6 minus 0.2 minus 0.1 leaves us an additional 0.1. That would be outside of the circles A and B. We have now completed and filled in our Venn diagram completely. And we want to answer the question that was asked, which is to find the probability of A or B. And we'll start by shading A or B. So we've shaded the part that we're looking for, and we simply can add up the, er the probabilities in the shaded area. 0.6 plus 0.2 plus 0.1, which will give us 0.9, which is our answer. The next part would be to find the solution using the formula. The probability of A or B equals the probability of A plus the probability of B minus the probability of A and B. Probability of A is 0.8, probability of B is 0.3, minus the probability of A and B, which is 0.2. 0.8 plus 0.3 minus 0.2 is 0.9, and we get the same answer. We will not do example 2 in this video, but we'll pick up with example 2 in the next video. Thank you as always for watching, and if you need additional help and are a Walter State student, please stop by and see me in Math and Behavioral Social Science Building, that is MBSS, room 222. Thank you.